me and hopefully you also, we read and it's better to say we consume a lot of information every day. I read articles, books, watch videos for fun, for education, I talk to people, people talk to me. How to remember everything? You've definitely heard about Sherlock Holmes, who is able to remember everything. Holmes, played by Benedict Cumberbatch in the series of the same name, could memorize huge amounts of information, creating the so-called mind palace. This approach is also known as Loki method, which was originally developed by the ancient Romans. It involves using the visualization of familiar spaces to retrieve from memory what you have memorized a long time ago. It is a mix of visual and spatial. Hey friends, today we talk about Palace of Mind or Method of Loki. If we open Wikipedia page of Method of Loki, we will find that the Method of Loki Loki being Latin for places, is a strategy of memory enchantment which uses visualizations of familiar spatial environments in order to enhance uh, the recall of information. The method of Loki is also known as the memory journey, memory palace or mind palace technique. For example, you want to memorize your shopping list, milk, wine, bread and more. Start by imagining a familiar place, such as your home, and then imagine yourself traveling through that space. You walk down the staircase, open the door, enter a hallway, look at the painting on the left, then head to the living room, and so on. Then assign each item on your shopping list to a specific room or location and imagine an object at that point. A bag of apples in the stairwell, a bottle of wine in the front door, bread in a painting and so on. And when you go to the store, just make a mental trip around the house, recreating images as you move, and you will find that even a rather long list will be much easier to remember. Scientists decided to understand the reasons for such an effectiveness of the palace of the mind. They performed MRI scans of the test participants and found an interesting pattern. Anyone who uses this mnemonic technique had decreased neural activities in several areas of the brain that play a significant role in the process of spatial memory. The researchers write that this drop in neural activity speaks not at all about a disease and power, but about a much more rational and efficient work of the brain. The effects in athletes of memory and those who first mastered the Loki method were strikingly similar and directly related to the improvement of their abilities. The scientists added that the Loki technique takes time and regular practice and therefore may not be suitable for those who want to memorize something quickly and for a long time. However, this method will definitely help you pump your memory and achieve much higher on or even exceptional performance. Palace of mind is a skill that could be developed. Thinking about skills, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. It is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and there are always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow whenever your creativity takes you. Skillshare offers membership with meaning, with so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives. Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real graphs. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Let's just quickly check what I may choose in Skillshare this week. Let's quickly open my classes. Here you can see all the classes I am started or I am going to start soon. And this week I was uh, watching YouTube Success build an authentic channel that worth the follow. That's definitely worth to see. There are only six steps to create Palace of Mind. Step number one. For your first memory palace, try choosing a place that you know well, like your home or office. 
I was using my parents' apartments for a long time. Step two, plan out the whole route. For example, front door, shoe rack, bedroom, kitchen, living room, etc. Some people find that going clockwise is helpful, but it is not necessary. Eventually, you will have many memory palaces. You will be able to revise the memory palace after you test it in a few times. So don't worry if it isn't perfect on the first try. Step 3. Now take a list of something that you want to memorize. A shopping list of 20 items is a good place to start. Carrots, bread, milk, tea, oats, apples and so on. Step number 4. Take one or two items at a time and place a mental image of them in each locus of your memory palace. Try to exaggerate the image of the items and have them interact with the location. For example, if the first item is carrots and uh, the first locus in your memory palace is the front door, picture some giant carrots opening up your front door. Step 5. Make the mnemonic images come alive with your senses. Exaggeration of the image and humor can help. And step number six. Continue with your routine through the palace with putting images of what you want to memorize. My personal experience. If you greatly exaggerate, it will help you more. Another more experience of using the palace of mind is making it humorous. Just make it unbelievably and funny and it will help you also. I have to specifically point your focus that this method is not working without practice. If you have a special day tomorrow and you have to memorize a lot, don't think that you will use Palace of Mind for the first time and it will work. It won't. You have to train yourself, but if you have a week you will memorize it beautifully. Again some disclaimer, this method is not working to memorize Pythagorean theorem. It may be it is, but look, idea here is to memorize something you don't use every day, but when you occasionally will need it, you will remember it. How I memorize shopping list? I imagine my fridge. I have a big one. I open it and memorize where I put my groceries. And you know what? Sometimes I open fridge, take something, and when I need to remember, do we have this at home? I can 99% be sure have we or don't without the need of memorizing it. Next example. When I work with contract with clients, I have a checklist, but I remember one of the perfect contracts and I go on and proceed line by line remembering of crucial points. Last advice from my side regarding palace of mind. Use many of them. It will help you to store your memories more structured. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe buttons and to constantly evolve. Bye bye.